To some high school football, we saw first round playoff action in AAA up in Georgia. Thomasville hosting Jackson and the dogs get on the board first as the freshman Levante Cole runs it in and it's 7-0 Thomasville. But the Red Devils, they would fight late to now 7-all. Here comes Jackson as Carlos Barlow breaks free and he will go 74 yards to pay dirt and Jackson led 14 to 13 at the break but the second half it would be all dogs back in front and adding to it as Cameron Hill throws a beauty for Cole Shaw that makes it 35 to 21 and Thomasville is moving on as they win big 42 to 21. We weren't playing by our standard. We weren't doing right. We weren't dictating. We weren't running. That was what was making me so upset. We weren't running everywhere we were supposed to go. And, you know, we came out in the second half. We ran the football, and you know, we were able to get the win. You know, the defense played unreal after that, that second touchdown. You know, it was a shutout till uh, that last one they punched in there at the end. But, you know, so pleased with the guys. And we get an opportunity to fix some things. But at this point in the year, you want to be able to fix some stuff because that means you win football games. A big win for the dogs tonight in the Rose City and up next the guys will play host to Liberty County next Friday night and to Moultrie in 7A Colquitt County welcomed in Pebble Brook and it was all pack up a score here. Nico fan finds Gene Garcia who makes a house call and that makes it 21 to 7 but the home team far from done later fan this time to the Georgia commit Landon Thomas that makes it 35 to 7 and the pack will roll tonight as they advance 56 to 16. And a couple of other 7A scores for you. Lowndes falls at Carrollton tonight, 38 to 14. And Valdosta falls on the road at Westlake, 28 to 13.